I'm the one of the coordinators of the community action team. Perfect. Now tell me, like, um, what does this day signify and why it's so important? So today signifies International Overdose Awareness Day. So um, in 2016, the BC government declared um, the toxic drug supply as a health emergency, um, and we've lost too many individuals way too young to the toxic drug supply. So today is about raising awareness about the loss. Today is about uh, taking away stigma from folks who use drugs. Um, and today is about coming to de together as a community to remember those that we've lost and those that we love that are impacted. Right. Maybe you could tell me a little bit about that setup uh, of flowers that you have just behind you. Sure. So um, the idea is that folks can grab a flower and, and lay down a flower for someone that they love, say a prayer, say their name, just as a way to honor those and to signify just how many people we lost um, and how many people are impacted. Right. And for the average person who may not yet at least have been directly affected by this, why should they be um, concerned about this? Because every one of these flowers signifies somebody who was loved, somebody who was special, somebody who was a person and who means something to so many people. Um, I think it's easy to think, oh, this happens elsewhere or this happens to somebody else. Um, but... It impacts everybody. What we don't often think about is that so many folks um, are impacted by this crisis or are using drugs that we don't even know about. Most of the deaths that happen happen in private residences, often folks who their families don't even know that they're using drugs. So I think it's easy to think that it's happening in the downtown east side or it's happening elsewhere. but. Likely there is someone that you're close to who is personally touched by this or touched by this tragedy. It was about a year in the making. Uh, many months of community engagement came before deciding on the design, um, and that was based on what the community would want to see on the overdose prevention site. Um, so we had a lot of incredible conversations with people um, to see what kind of imagery this should represent, um, being that it's on the overdose prevention site, so um, it is related to the opioid crisis. And uh, yeah, so um, an image of healing is really what came up, and I tried to incorporate um, the images that I heard from people on what healing means to them. So uh, myself and my co-artist, Lewis, drafted this design and um, started painting in, in early August and uh, it took about seven days of full, full days of painting um, and it couldn't have been possible without all of the volunteers and that came out to help and the community action team that, under one roof um, and everybody who came and supported this process. Um, I am very grateful. <laughs> so, so it was you and one other person who, built, who painted us over? Yeah, so uh, Lewis, he's an artist in Vancouver. Mm -hmm. He came onto the project um, for the design and implementation of uh, the piece. So mm -hmm. um, yeah, him and I drafted the design and uh, painted it with... So him and I, uh, plus the volunteers throughout the week. Yeah. Great. And so could you spe spell his full name for me? It's Louis Sobel. It's L O U I S S O B O L. Okay, great. And like, what would be the most memorable moment in creating this work of art for you? I think the most memorable moment. <laughs> There's a collection of moments. It was like up until this point, it's the conversations I was able to have. Um, people really opened up to me and were vulnerable about their experience with loss. Uh, to the overdose crisis, and um, I learned so much through that. Um, but through for the actual painting, I think I was just incredibly humbled by how many people came by to show their support, whether it was actually painting for a few hours, um, whether it was, you know, 
bringing coffee, whether it was uh, just walking by, saying hello, introducing themselves as you know someone who lives in this area, and um, just how uh, connected to the community I felt during the process was was really touching.